Good morning, Kyle Jacobson with your morning update from the Crooks Fire. The fire is currently 9,393 acres at 38% containment. As we take a look at the map on the north side, DP30 coming through Mount Union all the way through Mount Davis and coming through Five Points and down towards Moscow Peak and Yankee Doodle Peak. Everything remains within its current footprint. We haven't had any issues or concerns. Resources continue to patrol and mop up, find any potential heat sources. It's been really quiet here for the past few days. Good news today is as we come down Ash Creek Ridge, yesterday uh, the hotshot crews were able to get the line completed on Division Tango. That was that last piece of uncompleted line that we've been working for the past few days and they were able to get line around that so we'll, we will have a heavy contingent of resources in there today mopping up, securing, making sure that we don't get any further fire progression out of that line. As we move down to the south, everything continues to hold. Um, we haven't had any any fire progression on the southern edge of this fire. It's kind of just hit that fuel transition and we are getting resources in the area to hot spot cold trail through the south end all the way up into the DP-80 area. As we look in the Johnson Flat area, uh, we do have a couple areas of heat. Nothing is really moving. We don't haven't seen much fire progression out of this area, but we are getting some resources in this area as well to start hot spotting, cold trailing, making sure that we've taken care of any of heat any heat sources that may potentially move. Um, the most of the work yesterday was here in Division Alpha. Resources were able to grab an area where they had cold black, where the fire had kind of already been put itself out, um, anchored into that, and started working north towards the 81 road and then continued working north down into uh, more of that division alpha. These are really, really steep drainages. Um, it's very ridgy. It's really slow going, but resources are making really good progress. We also had resources start in the H14 area working to the south. So they're the intent is to try and tie both of these pieces of line together. It's really slow going, really thick timber, really thick brush. They have about a half mile left. It's probably going to be a couple more days of work to get that all tied in, but they're making great progress in here despite the difficult terrain. We do have um, critical fire weather coming up tomorrow, so the resources are going to be heavily engaged today, mopping up, securing everything they can to prevent any further fire progression and make sure that we keep this fire within its current footprint. So today's going to be a big day for us coming into a critical fire weather conditions. Resources are making great progress on this fire. With that, have a great day.